Hunter Award here, January 19th. Hope you're doing well. Got another difficult forecast here for Western North Carolina. It doesn't seem like it ever gets any easier. We've got the chance for overrunning precipitation to occur. A lot of the models aren't really picking up on it. Um, there's a lot of disparity. There's some little blips of precipitation that are showing up for extended periods of time that are somewhat warning shots that you know could potentially mean that the models aren't exactly resolving what the situation could actually look at. So going to dive into the details. We're talking about Thursday night and into Friday. Um, you know, a, a little bit of a longer time frame, you know, about a 24-hour time frame from Thursday night to Friday night where I think wintry precipitation will be possible. But, you know, there's a lot of variability with this forecast. Our models have not done good with it at all and so just going to try to give you my best opinion you know i'll be the first to admit when i'm wrong you know if uh you know some of my you know i'm forecasting a little bit of snow for western north carolina i think that one to three inches is going to be possible it doesn't come to fruition then i'll be the first to admit it um but let's go ahead and just turn around to my screen i want to thank red wolf contracting services cp cruise and company and time to travel uh 50 degrees around Asheville right now uh nice day sun shining some of that snow melting we've got rain that's going to be moving in uh tomorrow look at the grimes tice anderson camera downtown Asheville. just a pretty day uh banner elk oh look check this out this kid's making a snow snowman out there live on the uh on the camera there so got some action going on the banner elk.com live camera there in banner elk they told me they had around 20 inches of snow up there so they've gotten like 35, 40 inches of snow here in the past couple just weeks. So Hinko Repro Graphics live camera. They're looking out at Mount Pisgah, Cabbage Rose, Maggie Valley camera. All this snow still on the ground. Haywood County Farm Bureau insurance camera up there, Dutch Cove. Just a really beautiful day. Better Homes and Garden Real Estate Heritage out in Bryson City. Looking down at the caboose. Lynn Freeman Bush Realtor. Um, got a little bit of internet connection out there, likely. Um, and then the Affairs of the Hearts, downtown Waynesville camera. Beautiful day all around western North Carolina. It does look like that will be changing here uh, in the next 12 hours. We'll watch this front come in. I'll show you on the radar. Already getting some moisture in the Knoxville area. And it looks like this will move into western North Carolina here in the next... Um, you know, it, it has it coming in early morning. Um, some heavier rain with this as well in the Nashville area as it moves across Tennessee. That'll be arriving sometime late tonight, you know, mid early morning tomorrow, like 2, 3, 4 a.m. I think. And then, you know, some places in those higher elevations could switch to some snow on the backside of this. And then this front just kind of stalls as it comes, uh, into western north carolina it's kind of interesting i'll show you what the models are indicating here in just a bit but uh we're working with this northern periphery of moisture that you know you can see the imping reports right now of snow sleet and all of this was not projected too well by the models earlier yesterday so i think that we're seeing the northern periphery of that moisture not being resolved as well and then on the end result we're seeing you know freezing rain snow sleet all across the uh, areas of uh, Oklahoma Missouri and uh, northern Arkansas so that's kind of what I've been watching that northern periphery of moisture that's what's going to be affecting us here in the next uh, two to three days so let's go ahead check out what the most recent NAM model is showing Oh, it's just going to be a difficult forecast, and I can show you, you know, kind of moving forward how this plays out. There's that. Let me get this in a little bit better format. So watch how this plays out. You can see that moisture comes through early tomorrow morning and then kind of stalls out, and even some locations switch over to some freezing rain, um, sleet. Uh, that This sounding, to me, looks like cl very close to a snow sounding that warm nose is not very pronounced there so pulling up those skew tees 
uh, showing you guys those soundings because I think that they are giving me the best guess of that the atmosphere is going to be moist um, and we've got a southerly flow coming in so this is just a very difficult forecast and I know we say that a lot uh, but that's how it turns out in the mountains of western North Carolina. Look at this moisture stream that changes to all snow as the uh, upper level energy kind of gets involved, the cold air gets over top of it, and how far back that extends in western North Carolina tomorrow evening, I'm not exactly sure. That's kind of the wild card tomorrow evening. You know, where does this moisture stream stem back to? You know, is it, does it actually go into northern Georgia? Do we actually see it? persist all the way through western north carolina not just here on the escarpment it's hard to tell the nam 3km is coming in with a little bit more uh scattered snow showers down here and i think that we could see that as more pronounced here in the coming days these are uh very difficult to resolve and i, I just i don't know that the models are ever going to get this nailed down and it may just become a now cast situation where you know i do a video tomorrow we check out what's on the radar and I, I, you know, we evaluate the temperatures moving forward and then just kind of make a forecast from there. I, you know, I've, I've got my, my map here. Let me go ahead and show you um, my forecast map for this event. So here you can see, I'm thinking one to three inches is gonna be possible. Um, really difficult forecast. This obviously may change, but I've got the initial projected snowfall map right there and you know but like i said a difficult forecast i think there's a better chance for some accumulation down closer to charlotte winston salem area and even as you get farther the raleigh area could get two to four inches of snow or more from this um, but this northern periphery of energy is is where i think that this snow falls and the models haven't resolved it the snowfall maps really aren't showing these totals so uh but some of the some of the uh, ensemble members are and that's what gives me a little bit of pause to this forecast because we've got several ensemble members, GFS ensemble, European ensemble members that still think that five to six inches of snow is not, is not out of the question for Western North Carolina with this event. So we've got, we never really had any consensus with the models going towards this system and that's made it really difficult uh, from a forecast standpoint to kind of nail anything down. We went from the European showing over a foot of snow, uh, now the European model shows no snow and you know this is a change in two to three days of you know showing a, a significant amount of snow in and in a range that th those models are supposed to be accurate in and you know it's hard to forecast something when they change that quickly and so you know doing my best to kind of <clears throat> let you guys know that there's a changing forecast and that we still could see some uh some totals you know on that higher end but you know I, I honestly don't know this is one of those events that i'm having a really difficult time forecasting and uh, there could be some surprises uh, there could be obviously some letdowns if it doesn't snow but I, I do think there's a good chance tomorrow night that many of you see uh, snow the the moisture is going to be in the very low levels of the atmosphere i think that's what we're struggling with seeing if the precipitation actually lifts into that snow growth area or if it's just kind of right at the surface and you know if it's if it's as cold as what it shows and we've got snow on the ground still and you know it could become a freezing rain situation but you know the 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 setup really doesn't lend to that it lends to a little bit more of a snowfall sounding and so looking forward I've, i'll do i'll try to do a video tomorrow morning for you guys and uh, let you know what my latest thoughts are but this is kind of what i'm thinking right now and i'll kind of back that up with the models here just a little bit you can see the uh NAM model though kind of just gets this system out of the way by Friday and into Saturday. Some of the uh, the European model, the GFS, have a longer duration system for many around Western North Carolina, and it's creating a difficult forecast because obviously we have no agreement. Um, the NAM model and European model at one point in time were in somewhat of an agreement, but now we've seen uh, a differing of that and um you know as we move forward we'll watch for that so here's the most recent nam 3km showing tomorrow some sleep freezing rain around 1 or 2 p.m around Asheville. snow in the higher elevations and then you know it, it, 
rebuilds those, uh, you can see there, those snow showers right around Hendersonville, Wayne's, or in uh, Hendersonville, uh, Black Mountain area, Lake Lure. You know, it's just showing a snow sounding. Let me pull up the actual sounding and you can see temperatures at the surface 25. What we're not seeing is significant moisture in that snow growth area. So that's where the pause is at with this forecast. Do those peaks actually get that um, moisture up into the atmosphere that high to where snow can be made? Very difficult to tell. And, you know, I, the likelihood, it seems to be moving towards a, a somewhat of a non-event, but the chances are still there for, you know, a couple inches of snowfall on the uh, on the backside with these uh, this movement that's coming in. It's we don't see these events every year. Like I said, the last one we had was December 2017. Significantly under forecast uh, was an extremely difficult forecast, and so you know there's no guarantees, there's no certainties with this forecast. I'll show you what some of the other models are showing the uh, the RDPS Canadian Short Range Model. Here you can see that precipitation moving in and then that reinvigoration on Saturday morning with as that stream comes in. So it's just a very difficult forecast of how long this is going to last and, and what exactly occurs. I'll show you the GFS as well. We'll show you the European as well. Um, you know, watch these models. They just, they depict a more impactful snowstorm, obviously for down east, um, but still show some some pitter patters of snow which gives me uh makes me pause for a second because those are the things that i did see in december 2017 from this same pattern and you know those iso bars bending towards western north carolina and so it's you know how far does that back build how does this storm you know is this storm impactful for the raleigh area i think so i think that the eastern part of the state could end up getting four to six inches of snow from this. But, you know, as far as Western North Carolina, it's hard to tell. The mountains do weird things to these weather models and uh, make them a little bit difficult to nail down a forecast. So the European model really just doesn't even show much anymore after it showed was the model that showed a, uh, a significant snowstorm for us. So keep that in mind next time we start talking about the European model. Sometimes it's on, sometimes it's off, sometimes it really struggles. You know, it's really all about the complexity of the storm, and but you can run it out, and uh, it doesn't show a significant snowfall anymore. It does show the chance for a little bit of snow, so that's where my accumulation map is at. That's what I think uh, could come to fruition. I, you know, tomorrow we may need to change that. We may need to go lower, we may need to go higher, but uh, right now those are my thoughts. And, uh, you know, moving forward, we'll do our best to get this forecast nailed down and uh, give you an idea tomorrow of what I think is coming. So make sure you subscribe to the page, give this video a like, and uh, check back tomorrow for more information. Thanks. Bye.